hate that right, I really do. Oh yes, what is happening guys? Welcome to another vlog here on Freaking Trails. Today we are at the annual pass holders event here at Thorpe Park in London. It's been a good while since we come down to Thorpe Park. We actually haven't been down to an annual pass holders day before, so it's the first time for us here today. Be bringing you an action pack vlog, of course. With plenty of off-road footage. Plenty of updates and changes that have been made around the park. I know Thor Park have done a few updates and a few changes to the 2022 season, including some new refill and refresh points uh, for the Merlin Drinks Cup, which is about seven to eight pounds with a discount. They're also building a brand new little project uh, just at the entrance, just by there. I'll take you guys around there a little bit later on, but they're building a brand new. Uh, they're building a brand new little play area for the younger ones and also they've updated the ride queue system so it'll be interesting to check that out and see how that improves our day here at Thorpe Park anyway I hope you can join me for this action pack vlog grab yourself a drink get yourself comfy and hold on tight we break trails here at Thorpe Park for the annual pass holders day let's go say five minutes and it does actually look like there's a five minute wait uh, so these queue lines seem to be a lot more accurate than what uh, the previous queue line system used to be such a sexy yeah, a bit of a max super view of Nemesis Inferno here guys i mean i think they've done a lot of winter maintenance the wheels seem to be brand new as well which is a fantastic feeling not so rough going around don't shake your head about nice and smooth right there not that fast if i'm being honest with you but i think because it's early in the day it literally just opened about half hour ago so because it's quite early in the day and he's time to warm up but yeah really good ride on there fantastic really nice audio as well sounding throughout the queue line and when you get off the ride i'm not i'm pretty sure it's brand new audio because i haven't heard it before <coughs> yeah i'm pretty sure it's brand new audio sounds really fresh really loud sounds really good really fitting with the ride as well uh in regards to the new queue line system it did say five minutes uh, before we boarded the ride and the queue was actually five minutes so yeah these new uh so far these new updated queue line systems seem to be 
a lot more accurate than what the previous two line systems used to be so yeah good ride there on um, this inferno i'll get a bit of off-road footage for you guys later yeah we're heading to the fastest uk launch coaster now which is stealth fantastic intermin uh fantastic intermin coaster oh i can't wait to get on this look at it such an iconic ride for thor park i mean stealth really put I don't know if you see that on the Max Superview, uh, but yeah, I think Stealth really put Thor Park on the map when they built it. Of course, the first Intermin coaster here in Thor Park uh, was actually Colossus, the uh, first 10 looping coaster here at Thor Park. Uh, but definitely, Stealth has definitely put Thor Park on the map. Yeah, I get a bit of off ride footage uh, from Stealth, you guys, you can see it in the background there. absolutely intense front row right there on stealth doesn't compare to the middle or back absolutely fantastic right the force you feel on that launch as it sets off is absolutely incredible and then you reach the peak of the top part drop then straight down the force on it is unbelievable absolutely fantastic front row right there on stealth uh, no changes made no changes at all still the same good old stealth as it used to be also want to mention a uh, lady in the queue as well called Luan. Was it Luan? Lu Lucinda? Lucinda, sorry. Yeah, had a front row ride uh, with a lovely lady called Lucinda as well. We had a chat in the queue line about different rides, our favourite rides, theme park events, things like that. Uh, and overall, uh, just geeking out basically about the... Uh, just geeking out basically about different rides and different theme parks, Alton Towers, Thorpe Park. So yeah, the fantastic ride, front row ride there, with a lovely lady called Lucinda. Massive shout out to Lucinda there, which had a ride with me breaking trails. Yeah, so we're going to head on to Rumble Rapids now, which I haven't been on uh, since Thor Park did their Park Vibes event, uh, where a friend of Jack Silverstone, our nemesis, actually did the vocals for the Q-Line music. Uh, here on Rumba Rapids So yeah, I'm gonna see how it rides I don't think they've made any changes to Rumba Rapids uh, It doesn't look like anyway. It's a beautiful day here today at Thor Park Sun is shining. It was a little bit chilly this morning when we first arrived uh, But it's warmed up quite nicely today Beautiful Sun look at the weather it's like a summer's day uh, But yeah, we're gonna head on to Rumba Rapids now I'll tell you how it went when we come off yeah, Rumba Rapids looking fresh. I think the hut's right there. I think the uh, control hut just behind me there is that a bit of a repaint. Inversion. 
those uh, the harnesses don't do it any justice at all a uh, bit of news on Colossus as well guys they got a new click fix uh, seatbelt system uh, click fix of course is the same seatbelt system as Stealth and uh, Rita kind of seatbelt system of stealth and Rita I don't know what they implemented it for uh, just an extra safety extra safety feature I think but yeah still a great coaster oh look at that in the background uh, yeah we're gonna head on to Saw now uh, last year it was riding pretty well I know they changed the wheels uh, and uh, yeah, they changed the wheels for wheels for a smoother ride. But they changed the bearings and the wheels. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, and it was pretty smooth last year. So we're gonna head on to Saw now. In terms of crowd level, it's not too bad today. When we went to Chesington last week, if you guys haven't checked out the vlog for Chesington World of Adventures, go and check it out it's on the channel. I oh, look at this, no minutes minutes for so so we're gonna head on this I don't know why it's an eight minute queue because everyone's yeah I think um, yeah the swarm was literally just opened it's been testing uh, for the last half an hour it was shut when we got here uh, but it's just opened about half an hour ago so I think everybody's rushed to uh, swarm and they, they've kind of left this little area of the park yeah in terms of crowd levels here for annual pass holders day it's pretty good, the crowd levels are not too bad considering. I thought it was going to be, oh it's gone dark all of a sudden. I thought it was going to be really busy here today for annual pass holders day. Uh, but yeah, the crowd levels are pretty decent. Operations wise are pretty good. Operations wise are pretty good. Uh, dispatching riders pretty quick on the coasters. Uh, loading them on pretty quick as well. So yeah, overall fantastic day here at Thor Park so far I mean the weather's beautiful today all the rain we've been having for the last two weeks I mean look at this not a single person yes head on the door Had a quick ride on a good throw you a fighter so man I I hate that ride I really do I thought you know last year it was pretty smooth hey breaking throws on YouTube uh yeah I thought last year they changed the uh, wheels on so nice and smooth didn't have any issues with it last season today completely different story hated it so rough <laughs> it's just so rough. The roughness adds to it though, It doesn't add to it at all. I hate no. it. I hate the story it. story of it is pain, obviously, so it makes it better. I hate it. I really do. See what I got bloody whiplash. Oh, I know, it gives you whiplash, bangs you about. It's worse than Colossus, guys, and that's 20 years old. Nah, Colossus is a bit But Yeah, didn't like it at all. Uh, it's good to see all the effects working out. I mean, you know, jigsaw at the start. I hate the, I hate the, 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 the body that shoots up the water when you go in to the first uh, inversion. Yeah, all the effects are working. Audio's nice and loud. Really good. But the ride itself, not so good. Didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. Anyway, as I mentioned before, Swarm is now open, so we're going to head over that part of the park now. We're going to give Swarm a ride. And of course, I will let you know any changes have being made any updates on swarm uh, love the whole theme in around swarm you know fantastic storyline really good theme in around the whole ride itself the ride itself fantastic love it such a chilled ride so nice and smooth and comfortable uh, the restraints on swarm are incredible so such a comfortable ride uh, but yeah we're gonna head over to swarm now and uh, see what it's running like like I say, crowd levels today are pretty good. I mean, it's pretty quiet today, in all honesty. 
even though it's an annual pass holders day today I mean it's not the official opening day of Thor Park to the general public uh, but yeah for pass holders day lovely crowd levels really decent and again the weather is absolutely fantastic can't fault the weather today really sunny and bright and warm love it absolutely love it yes head on swarm Just from our swarm, enjoyed it, smooth as ever, really smooth being at Wind Coaster there. Of course, it's the only one in the UK, uh, but add into that really soon is going to be the Chesterton World of Adventures uh, Wind Coaster as well. Shuttle Wind Coaster, uh, so it's going to be the second Wind Coaster in the UK. Uh, but yeah, swarm really good, operating really well. Yeah, no changes at all there, uh, dispatching really well. Uh, running on two trains and we also stop for a bit of food at my favourite place here at Thorpe Park Amity Kebabs beautiful kebabs, I always go there uh, it's either there or KFC but we normally head to Amity Kebabs every time we come here at Thorpe Park Cycle is just way too short on rush. It's a good ride, it just needs a longer cycle. It literally lasts about 20 seconds. And we just came out of Walking Dead the ride as well. Uh, but yeah, enjoyed it. Really good ride there on Walking Dead the ride. Uh, all the effects working. I think there's some new extra lighting in the actual ride house itself as well, which I spotted. Uh, all the lighting works, all the effects are working, really good. Uh, my favourite part of that ride is the second lift hill going up. The kind of, uh, you know, the power cuts out on the ride on purpose and uh, it kind of judders up the lift hill. It's a really good effect. I really enjoy that effect on uh, walking down the ride. 
But yeah, more good news about Walking Dead the Ride. The actors are back. There was actually two actors. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. But yeah, there are actually two actors at the end of Walking Dead the Ride. It's just so good to see. I really didn't expect to see the actors, especially today being annual Merlin annual pass holders day. I didn't expect to see any actors at all in there. There haven't been actors in Walking Dead the Ride for a long time. Really good to see the actors back at the end of the ride on Walking Dead. Pretty good improvements. Enjoyed it that time actually. It was a good run through. So yeah, gonna have a couple of re-rides now guys. I mean literally everything is walk on. Nemesis Inferno, front row, that was a walk on. Walking Dead the Ride, that was a walk on. It's very quiet here today. But mind you saying that there's only about two hours left of the day here at Thorpe Park. Uh, but it's looking good, everything's walk on. Fantastic. The only thing that's not walk on today is uh, Darren Brown's Go Stream. It's about a 45 minute queue. Uh, but to be honest, you know, I'm not really too fussed about getting on Darren Brown's Go Stream. Uh, it's not rated very highly in my books. What a way to end the day here at Thor Park for the annual pass holders event, the Merlin annual pass holders event. Uh, we had our last ride on the day on Colossus. We didn't have one lap. We had two laps on Colossus, would you believe it? Never had two laps on Colossus. Very first time for me. Uh, only because it's Colossus' 20 year birthday today. And the fantastic thing about it is all the staff are getting all the riders hyped up. They were all cheering, clapping, high fives. Brilliant to see. And also some of the staff actually jumped on the last train of the car with us as well. They were just in front of us as well. Fantastic to see the staff getting involved, hyping up all the riders. Really, really good to see. Anyway, yeah, it's been a fantastic day here at Thorpe Park. The sun has been shining. Ride operation has been really good today. Uh, ride availability has been fantastic. Been a few little changes here and there that I've spotted. Been absolutely fantastic great to get back to the island like no other which is thought Park. anyway if you enjoyed the vlog which i hope you guys did please consider liking subscribing click that notifications bell because i'll tell you every time i upload something new in two weeks i will be hitting out towers for you guys i can't wait for that vlog it's going to be fantastic anyway in the meantime stay safe and keep on trailing bye